In this video, I'll show you how to run an auto AI experiment and build a model using auto AI experiment. Once you add auto AI experiment to Watson Studio project, then you will get redirected to a page which looks like this. So before creating a model, you can use some sort of sample data. Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create and deploy. Hi, in this video. Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to train a machine learning model using auto AI experiment. Once you add auto AI experiment to the Watson Studio project, then you will get redirected to a page which looks like this. From here, you should browse for the sample data that you use for building a machine learning model. In this context, I will be building a machine learning model to predict rainfall based on the weather data. So if you see my data set, it is collected from the Kaggle and it has few of the parameters like dew point, humidity, pressure, heat index, temperature, wind direction, and the last column is rain. So let's build a machine learning model on this sample data set. First of all, you have to load this sample onto Auto AI project. To do so, please click on Browse. Select that data set. You can see that the data set is being loaded onto the auto AI experiment. Make sure your data set is not more than one GB. If suppose your data set is more than one GB, then your auto AI experiment will convert that into a size which is less than one GB. Now, once you upload the data set, you have to select the column which is used for prediction. Here, I am selecting the rain column as I would like to predict whether it will rain or not based on the weather parameters. So as soon as you select the predicted co prediction column, then your auto AI experiment analyzes the kind of problem that you're working on. So when you look over here, you can see that the data set that you have uploaded is of binary classification. If you want to change any sort of settings, then you can go to experiment settings. You can change the splitting of data. The ideal uh, ratio of splitting the data into train and test is 80% of data in training and 20% uh, of data in testing. And if you want to change the prediction settings, then you can go to this prediction and select the settings that you wish to change. Here, you can see that the accuracy, the metric optimization, metric optimizer that has been selected is accuracy. And you can also see what are all the algorithms that are selected. So if you change anything, then the safe, safe settings will get enabled. As you have not changed anything, the safe setting button is not enabled. So if you change something, please click on save settings and click on cancel. Now, please run the experiment. As the model trains, you will see an in infographic view that shows the process of building the pipelines.
you can also swap the view of this training so if you swap the view then you can see this infographic view in a proper way you can see that the auto experiment is reading the data set once the data set is read it is splitting the data into train and test Once it splits the data into train and test, again the reading, again it reads the training data, and you can also see the processing time. So the processing time is purely dependent on the data set size. So let's wait until the experiment gets completed. You can see that the model selection has been done and it is selecting the algorithm. So now the hyperparameter optimization is being taking place. Now you can see the model has been built. So the experiment is completed. You can see a notification over here. The time elapsed for this is 36 minutes. As the data set that we have taken is very huge, so it took a lot of it took a lot of time to train the model. If you want to see the comparison between your pipelines, you can see the pipeline comparison. So if you click on this pipeline comparison, you can see all the metrics of each and every pipeline. So if you see this, this is the pipeline one, pipeline two, pipeline three, pipeline four, and pipeline eight, etc. So these are all the evaluation metrics of your model. Now, if you want to see where your project is saved, you can click on this new project. Scroll down. Near auto AI experiments, you can see that the experiment is completed. So please click on this experiment so that you can view all the pipelines. Now scroll down. You can see all the pipelines with the estimation estimated time, out of which pipeline four with gradient boosting classifier got highest accuracy of 97%. So whichever the pipeline that is, whichever the pipeline's accuracy is highest, that model is to be saved for the future references. This is how you will be building a model using auto AI experiment.